in the top part of this case there's a little bearing here and you can push it out from the back and we're going to give that a thorough cleaning and also in this hole there's a little bushing that will come out which we're also going to clean thoroughly push it out from the back that's going to be your best bet Oops, there's a little, be careful, there's a little um, washer on the back of that, and that goes down. I was using a graphite lubricant on this so you can see that it's, it's very, you can see the graphite. This is actually the first time I've taken this reel down this far since I've bought and paid for this reel back in the early 1980s. I saved up when I was a kid. I was probably just 15 years old. And I drove all the way to Kmart on my bike and I bought this reel. And my dad said, he was actually pretty upset with me that I bought and paid for an $80 reel at the time, but I told him, I said, this thing's gonna last me a lifetime. Well, I'm 47 years old today or as of a few days ago and up until this past weekend the reel was actually working pretty well so you buy quality and you know if I would have bought a fifteen dollar reel I would have actually in this by this point I would have probably had to buy ten of those reels over the past maybe twenty of those reels over the past uh, 30 something years is it just not going to last so okay so there are some parts here that we have to carefully take away and this is like a little piece of plastic so we're just going to take this and move it off to the side and this appears to be a spring and there's another spring on this one on these two pieces here and we're going to take those off I'm going to clean those but here's another piece we're going to remove kind of keeping everything kind of lined up let me show you what I'm doing here on the table we're going to start separating these gears and pulling everything off Looks like a, a washer, and it's got a shape to it, you can see. And below that, it appears to be, there's another one. And these parts are coming off of my fingers. So I'm going to take that, I'm going to put that off to the side also. I'm going to carefully remove this main gear and if you could see it's coming right off let me get this thing back in the position I'm taking off this top gear and if you see under here this actually is where the anti reverse functions see what happens is you're gonna have some kind of a a gear or something that fits in here and stops it from turning. Okay. So we're just going to take this and place on the side. Below it is another gear. And place that on the side. And with a Q-tip, we can start wiping out the area is that there's no way we can get to. We're going to continue to break this thing down a little further. What we're going to do next is simply take off this piece here. There's a gear, that gear on top. 
just place it on the side. We're going to clean that. This piece right here. Now keep your eye on the configuration, how this thing is lined up. And then I'm going to take a Q-tip and start cleaning. Keep your eye on this little piece right here. This is going to be the mechanism for the anti-reverse. If you line up the cover again, so the switch, so the button is where the button should be, you'll notice that this switch right here kind of coincides with this right here. So I'm either thinking one of two things, either it was out of place, maybe it slipped out of place, or it's simply worn out. Because let me take this thing off here, this piece. Now, some of these parts you can actually find on eBay, believe it or not. I called Shimano, and Shimano says they're not making parts for these um, reels anymore. It's just too old. But there are some people that still stock parts. So if this, if this is the piece that's worn out, we're going to find out soon enough. But let's place it back where it goes. Because I'm guessing that that is what's going to fall into one of these gears back here. So when this is like this, when this is back on, this, that little tab right here is what locks into, into this, these notches on this gear. Um, hopefully it was just out of place and not worn out, but we're going to find out. So let's put some of these parts back on. If you notice, there's a notch here and a notch here. And if you look at this, there's, a notch, there's like a bump here and a bump here. That is likely to fit together like this. Yep. See, it kind of just locks into place. And then I'm going to take this and carefully slide it down back into place again. Okay, so next let's start cleaning these parts. Okay, so I've cleaned the parts. So this is what's called the anti-reverse dog. You know, there's a piece here in the corner that looks like it's either broken away or totally worn off. So I would assume that it has to, it's supposed to be actually angled like this. That's correct. I looked at the schematic, so it kind of looks like that. But when you turn this thing over to the other side, it's definitely worn. Okay, so thanks for watching. Tune in to part three. Part three, I'm going to get the new anti-reverse dog and I'm going to install it, oil up and grease up this entire part and put it back together. And then we'll start working on the other half of this just in cleaning and greasing it. Okay, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Any comments, good or bad or helpful. And of course, if you can leave a thumbs up if you like the video, we'd appreciate it a lot. Thank you. And please tune in for part three.